Suzanne has planned a shopping trip with her daughter, Helen, using their electrical vehicle. The car has charged overnight, and they are ready to drive from Greenville, South Carolina to Atlanta, Georgia. Before leaving, Suzanne schedules a fast charge service at the shopping mall they are visiting using the Route app. That will make sure they have enough charge on the way back. Suzanne can now check if the battery would hold enough charge to let Helen watch a film on the backseat monitor. Helen can choose to watch a movie using a paid app or cartoons using a pre app that contains local commercials. On the way to Atlanta, Suzanne gets caught in a traffic jam. Warning! Warning! The current charge level is not enough to reach destination. Please turn off some of the vehicle features or select a detour for battery charging. Sending current video to iPad. The battery management system warns her that under current consumption they won't arrive at the destination due to several traffic jams on the way. Switch destination to Buckhead Mall, Atlanta, Georgia. New destination set to Buckhead Mall, Atlanta, Georgia. Schedule fast charge service. Fast charge service has been reserved for the estimated arriving time. Using the routine app and the voice speech interface, Suzanne has rescheduled the charge and reduced energy consumption. Traffic comes to stand still. Suzanne uses this time to search for deals in the new destination. Hey, pumpkin. Yeah? There's a sale on at Build-A-Bear. Cool! Do you want to go? Yeah, okay. Yeah, go. Once in the shopping mall, they leave the car in the charging station and go shopping. While enjoying the discounts they found with the building app, the battery monitoring app finds out that the charging rate is not correct and sends a warning signal to Suzanne's smartphone. Pumpy, I think you left the video on because the battery is not charging properly. Um, that's okay, I'm going to shut it off from here, okay? Don't worry about it.
On the way back, Suzanne feels like having a coffee. Check for coffee houses on the road. Checking for nearby coffee houses. Loading preferences. There is one coffee and cream in two miles. Okay. There is one Starbucks in four miles. Coffee and cream? Order me a latte. Tall. Latte tall purchased at coffee and cream. She doesn't need to use her credit card since her vehicle uses the DSRC enabled payment scan. Once again, technology and infrastructure made the day for Suzanne. Another successful trip. Suzanne had to make a charging station reservation before she left for her trip uh, using her laptop. She had to make this reservation because initially uh, the fast charging station options are going to be limited as the EV infrastructure is uh, progressively rolled out. Once she was notified that she was not going to make it to the current charging destination, uh, she rescheduled using the in-car computer that used the SRC connection. This provided her with the convenience of not having to stop and taking out her laptop and making the reschedule appointment. Moreover, <coughs> our, uh, we have an integrated system in the car that allows her to use any of the devices that she has in the car. For example, her smartphone. This way, she can use uh, any device that is most convenient for her to make this reschedule appointment uh, at any time. video, Helen would like to watch a movie during her trip to Atlanta, and our video app provides the option to watch a movie and TV in the vehicle. The TV would contain commercials, and this provides the opportunity for promotion of local and private business, and movie would be pay-per-view. Moreover, Suzanne would like to switch from the in car display to her iPad during the trip, and our video app also provides a switching function from the in-car display to any other display devices like smartphones or tablets through our integrated platform. The battery monitoring app works with the navigation system. As seen in the video, Sujan received a notification when the charge level was not enough to reach the destination. It also suggested Sujan to turn off certain systems in the in the vehicle to save energy. The battery monitoring app also controls the recharging rate of the vehicle when it's charging. As seen in the video, Susan received push notification on her smartphone saying that the, the recharging rate is below expected level. She then used remote control app to, to turn off the power consuming systems in the car. Thus, the battery monitoring app works together with different softwares and systems in the platform to provide best services to the users. As you can see in the video, Suzanne uses the system to browse local businesses for deals. This is another feature of the system that can incorporate private businesses and the feature can also be used to browse businesses local to your current location or nearby your destination. So in Susanna's case, she could use the system to browse for deals at businesses near her destination, like in the mall she's going towards. You can see here in the video that Susanna has ordered and picked up a coffee, but you did not see an exchange of payment, whether it be a credit card or cash. This is because the proposed system has allowed for an electronic payment using DSRC, similar to the way current DSRC systems collect electronic tolls for moving vehicles. This is a service that the platform can provide to any business with a drive through that would like to subscribe to it. This is also another opportunity for the DOT to incorporate private businesses and services into the platform use as, as a way to generate alternative funding sources, which we talk about more in the written proposal.